especially the times that I'm rushing and trying to get something done, I find God slowing me down and making me be patient, amen? Putting me through tests, amen, to see whether I'll endure, amen, whether I'll slow down and settle down if you would, amen? How many know that if we all will just be quiet sometimes and pay attention to what's going on, a lot of times we'll see things that we don't normally see, amen? A lot of times we'll experience things that we normally overlook, amen? And uh, a lot of times when you overlook things, amen, you miss things, amen? So it's very important, especially in these last days, that we not find ourselves missing things, amen? Praise the Lord. We put this where it won't blow up again. Amen. Look with me in Ephesians chapter 4. It says, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called. How many know that it's important that we walk like a Christian, we talk like a Christian, and we act like a Christian? Amen. It's very important, especially in these last days, amen, that we do these things. I'm going to share a little example of today, amen, with you of something where God had poured a blessing out upon me here a couple weeks back. I was in Lowe's and went in and found some tile that they had marked down because they was discontinuing it, Amen. And when I looked at this tile, it was a, a rather, really nice tile. It's actually about a dollar and almost 50 cent a square foot originally, amen? And at that time, when I looked at it, it was marked down to $55 for 118 square feet of tile, man, which is rather cheap, amen? Well, when I say 118 of them cost me $55, if you can do any math, that's a little less than half price, amen, what they originally cost, amen. I got to count them, and there wasn't but 86 tiles there. And so I, I questioned the guy in the tile department. I said, look, I said, y'all got these marked for $55 for 118 of them. I said, and they ain't but 86 there. Surely you ain't going to charge me $55 if I buy the whole 118 because there's not 118 there. And he said, well, no, that wouldn't be right, would it? I said, no. He said, what about $35? I said, yeah, I'll give you $35. So I got, I got it cheaper than what they had it marked down then. Amen? Because I got over half of them would have been Less than forty, you know, forty-two dollars, forty-three dollars would have been half price, right? So I got them a little cheaper than what they had them marked down then, and I went ahead and bought them. But before I bought them, I asked them. I said, "Now, these tiles you're saying they're discontinuing, y'all not gonna get no more of them, right?" And he said, "No, they quit making them. Don't even get nobody get them." I said, "Oh, I said, well, does any of the other loads around got them?" I said, "Case I need." anymore. <laughs> he said, well, yes, and South Huntsville's got 235, looked on the computer, South Huntsville's got 235, Hampton Cole's got a thousand of them. I said, well, that's good enough. I won't need that many. I said, yeah, that's more than enough. I said, well, that's great. I said, yeah. I said, that, that's, a, that's a deal, you know. So I left with, well, I hadn't looked for no more of them until today, Ken. First place I went was down South Huntsville, because I didn't need but 200 of them. Amen? They're supposed to have 235, so I figured if I go there, I can probably get them cheap, you know, because they were discontinued. Got down there, and they said, well, well, they're not, they've not been marked off as a non stop item, and there's still a stop item here, and we've got to have them, this is on clearance now, they got to have them for $1.24. I said, well, that ain't right. I said, now, I bought them up at North Huntsville. They said they was discontinued, not making them no more. The company quit making them. Y'all not going to get them more. So, and you're trying to tell me that you won't mark them down? 
and sell them to me for what they sold them to me up at North Hunts. Well, what's the difference in that load and this load? Amen? Mm -hmm. Well, he said, the difference is that there's still stock out of here and I can't sell them for that. I said, well, that don't make no sense to me when I was told up there that they was discontinued and that y'all had 235 and the Hampton Gold had 1,000. I said, surely I should be able to get them for the same price if they sold them to me there. And y'all the same store, even though you're a different location. So make a long story short, folks. We got them for 41 cent a cow today. Amen. Glory to God. But it was, I had to go through a procedure. The reason I shared this, yeah. it took patience, Sister Shirley, for God to move in that situation. It took me about an hour and 20 minutes to wait on them to sell me at the same price that I paid at North Huntsville. Amen. I had to go through a long procedure, amen, in order to get those tiles, amen. I bought 178 tiles for 75 hours, amen. So I'm telling you, amen, and the reason I share that is because I've learned just in business alone to be patient. It, it pays off, amen. Sometimes we get in a hurry. I, I'm, I'm the world's worst about getting in a hurry. Amen. I like to get in there and get out. Get in there and get out. Get in there. But some things you can't do that. Amen. There's times that when people need your attention. Amen. And it takes patience sometimes to slow down just to listen. Amen. We need to learn to slow down and listen. Amen. We need to learn to to be quiet at times and sit back and see what our ears can hear. Amen. I can tell you today, if it wouldn't have been for patience, I would not have got those tiles for forty-one cents a square foot. Wouldn't have happened. Mm -hmm. That was below their cost that they even bought them for. He says, "I can't sell them to you for that." I said, "Well." North Huntsville did. I said, why can't you? He said, well, they won't let me. I said, well, why not? And I said, North Huntsville sold them to me. He said, you got your receipt? I said, no, but we'll call North Huntsville and I'll sh they can pull it up where I bought them because I bought the last 86 tiles they had in that item number. And we called up there and sure enough, he pulled up the ticket. It showed where I bought them. Uh, 86 tile for $35, amen, and he had to sell them to me for 41 cent a square foot. Now tell me I can't go to Hampton Cove and do the same thing as I can, yeah, amen? Can. Get the same tile, a thousand of them, for 41 cent a square foot. And there's nothing they can do about it. Why? Because if one's going to treat one like that, they got the other's got to treat the same yep. way. Amen. I'm telling you, if we'll learn to be patient, amen, and let God work in our life, amen. Did you hear what I said? We'll learn to be patient and let God work in our life. God will work miracles out it right before your very eyes, amen. I saw a miracle work. That man that had no choice but to honor what the other store had done, even though it was out of his hand. Yeah, he said, I hope I don't lose my job for this. He said, you got a job opening if I lose my job? I said, I'll tell you what, for a fellow like you, I said, I'll put you to work hard today. <laughs> Why? Because he was honoring what was right. Amen? And I'm telling you, amen, and when we begin to let God work in our life and we begin to wait on God and let God move, amen, listen to this next verse. It says, with all loneliness, Low, lowliness and meekness with long suffering forbearing one another in love endeavor to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace amen I'll tell you something else that guy first told me I can't do it you know what I started to do I started to leave mm -hmm. and as I got out the store it was like God was telling me don't you leave you bought them up there, you can buy them here. And I turned back around, went right back to the tile department, and I stood there, and that guy says, what do you want? <laughs> I said, I done told you what I wanted. I want to get those tiles that y'all supposed to have on 
that's being discontinued for the same price I paid for them in North Thompson. He said, I, I told you I can't do that. I said, well, North Thompson did. I said, so if North Thompson lows can, so can you. He said, I can't do it. You're gonna, I, they won't let me. I said, I said, well, if they did it in North Thompson, you can do it here. And you know what, Sandra? He sold me those tiles for 41 cents. So I got the ticket receipt in my bill, bill. I show it to you. Amen. It blowed me away. But God does things when we're patient. Amen. He works, amen, in, in, in our favor. Amen. When we learn to walk in the unity of the Spirit of God. Amen. And let God rule and reign. I feel yeah. the Holy Ghost right now. Amen. Let Him rule and reign in your life. Amen. God will make a way when there's no way. Amen. I'm telling you today, amen, we seen God's hand move just upon us buying a church building, amen. Yeah. God's hand moved. We didn't have to go borrow no money, amen. We didn't have to get a bank note, amen. God just yeah. made away, amen. And I'm telling you, He's been doing that ever since we stepped out in the ministry, amen. I've watched God make a way when there was no way, amen. I watched Him perform, amen, and show me that He would take care of us and would just follow after Him. And if He'll do that for me, he'll do that for you, amen. It don't matter, amen, as long as we'll be willing to let God have his way. Be patient and wait on the Lord. I've seen God do things that I can't explain. All I can say is be God, amen. And I've seen that ever since I've come into the ministry, Sister LeBron. God has showed himself time and time and time again to me how that he'll take care of you, amen. How that we need to learn to wait upon him and let him do the things, amen. He can do so much more that you and I can, amen. There's times that I've found myself trying to make something happen. And God, the whole time, just waiting on me to step back and let Him do it. Amen? I'm telling you there's something about patience that God wants us to get a hold of tonight. Amen? we got to learn to stay quiet during time of, of verbal attack. Amen? We've got to learn to keep our mouth shut. Amen? And, and keep, keep from saying things that we regret. Amen? God respects one that's got a meek and quiet spirit about it. Amen? Come on. Somebody shouts at you and you shout at them, you know what you got a shout match. Amen? <laughs> Ain't getting nowhere. Turn into a big old argument. Amen? Huh? What did you say, LeBron? Yeah. Oh, we ain't gonna say that. Amen? Lord of God. If that's the case, Sandra and I done killed each other. Amen? <laughs> We've had our knockdown drag out. Amen? We all have. We all have. Yeah, we all have. But we shouldn't. We need to learn to keep ourselves under subjection. Amen? Unto the will of God. Amen? And yes, it's not easy when you let your flesh overrule your spirit, man. Why? Because you've got to learn to be quiet at times. Amen? I've learned the best thing for me to do when Sanders man is not say nothing. Amen. <laughs> that don't mean I always not say nothing, Kent. Because so, I, I'm very strong-willed, and so is she. We voice our opinion, but we've learned to agree to disagree. Amen. We've learned to look at each other and say, well, whatever, you know. <laughs> Learn to just let things lie and wait on God. Amen. I'm telling you, amen. Sometimes we may have the whole wrong idea, both of us. Right. God got a whole different opinion than what we have. Let me tell you something. You need to realize, amen, that God wants us to be patient in these last days and be watching and waiting for Him and be, be who He's called us to be. Be about the Father's business. Don't sit back, amen, Come on. and do nothing on God, amen. Get up and be that instrument that He's called you to be. Amen. And walk and perform the way that He would have you perform. Amen. It, it makes a difference when we're walking in the will of God. Amen. 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 It makes a difference when you set standards and do things the way God wants you to do them. Amen. He makes the difference in our life. Amen. I want to encourage you tonight. Amen. To stay on track and let God have His way. 
Sometimes we gotta listen without responding. Come on, brother. Amen. Mm -hmm. I didn't do that. Me, me either. Amen. <laughs> There's airplane going over. Come on. Airplane going over. Amen. <laughs> UFOs, ain't it? No. <laughs> Don't you know that God love those that walk with a meek and quiet spirit? Yes. Amen. He finds favor with those that are a, a welcome long suffering. Amen. Nobody wants to suffer, but sometimes we gotta go through things. Amen. And sometimes things ain't easy, sister. Surely sometimes things are really rough. And we don't know how we're gonna make it. I can tell you how you're gonna make it. You're gonna make it in God. Amen. You're going to make it through Jesus Christ being and, and walking and talking with Him and spending time Come getting on. along with Him. That's the answer, amen, is to draw nigh to Him, amen. Get close to Him and develop a relationship with Him so that He can teach you to be godly, amen. We was talking about the children, you know. So they know, you know what happened, He falls out, <laughs> Right? God took care of it. Well, I want him to wake up and be in service, but God will teach him how to do that. Amen? And we've got to be patient and let God work in our lives. Amen? What we've got to do is raise our kids up in the fear and admiration of the Lord. Right? we got to teach them. Boy, Lord, he knows how to pray. Amen? Yep. I mean, he picked it up from coming to church. Kid. Yes, sir. Nobody made him pray. These children know how to get up and sing. Yes, they do. Worship the Lord. Why? Because they've been raised up in church. God wants to teach us how to be a Christian. Amen. And He will. And we'll humble ourselves unto Him and let Him lead the way. Amen. Sometimes we find ourselves trying to do the lead when we need to learn to follow. Amen. Do you understand tonight, yes. amen, that God wants us to be patient? Bible says those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Are you weary? Tired? I'll tell you what, I come in here exhausted, but I'm fired up right now. Amen. Amen. I was driving home, I was tired. I said, man, I'm tired. I'm worn out. I've been going hard. Amen. And I have. But God gives me sense enough to lay down and rest. Amen. Come on. It gives me enough sense to know that I can't do it by myself and I find myself praying, falling asleep, amen? Trying to get along with Him and spend time with Him so that He can take care of me. Amen, what about you? Do you spend time with God like you should? Come on. Do you find yourself being quiet and listening? Or do you find yourself being very voiceful and overruling, Amen. There's a difference. There is a difference. Amen. You know, one of the things that we as children of God have to learn to do is to be a brother's keeper. That's right. Amen. Right? Amen. You know how you do that? By praying. When those come and attack you, amen, those that that persecute you and ridicule the Bible said don't persecute and ridicule them of it. It said to pray for them that despite flee you if you don't. Yep. Lift them up, pray for them. Why do I want to pray for them? They just cuss me out. Well, what are you going to do? Cuss them back? No. you got to pray for them. Lord, help them not be like that. Lord, Lord help them to realize that I just want best for them. I'm not against them. Amen. I can tell you, amen, God makes a difference when we let God be in control, amen? When we begin to walk in the spirit that God wants us to walk in, God takes care of our enemies, don't He? He says He has them to lay our feet, right? Right? Yep. Amen. Man? God be for us, who can be against us, right? Amen. Nobody, Amen. Not even that man at, at Lowe's today. Amen. You know, I think what he's saying, he, would, he, he looked at me and he seen somebody that wasn't going to bend. Amen. Somebody that was going to stand and wait and be patient 
and let God just work it out. And I, I wasn't going to leave until something was done about it. I just wasn't. I wasn't being ugly. I didn't have to raise my voice. I didn't have to even get mad or act ugly or anything. I said, well, this just really puts me in a tight situation. I bought them up there at North Huntsville Lowe's, and they told me, y'all had so many down here, and if I needed any more, I could go down here and get them, and they'd be discontinued. So I come down here, and now you're telling me there's still a stock out of them just because you ain't uh, put an end in the computer from being uh, non-stop, then you're going to try to sell them to me for original cost. I said, I can't pay that for them, not after they told me I could get them down here for this. Well, where's your receipt? I said, well, I don't have it. <laughs> I said, it's probably at the house. I said, I don't have it. I looked through about 20 receipts in my billboard, and I didn't have it. Amen. So I know I got it. It's at the house. I don't throw no receipts away, Kent. So I said, well, I said, what we're going to do? I said, I don't want to ride all the way back down here tomorrow to pick up Kyle. I said, I'm down here now. I live in Fayetteville. I said, I, I said can't we do something today? And he said, there's nothing I can do. I said, well, I said, so you're saying I got to have a receipt? He said, yeah, if you go up to North Huntsville Law and get a receipt, then we can probably take care of this. I said, well, better yet. I said, why don't we just call them and let them fax it? Well, we can do that if they can find it. So I called them. I gave them the item number. It took them about three minutes <laughs> to find it after all that. That settled it. Right there, that was it. All he had to do was see what I paid 41 cents for. And he sold it to me. It was just that easy. Amen? But I can tell you it wouldn't have happened if I hadn't have been patient. It wouldn't have happened if I hadn't have prayed and let God lead me and guide me and listen to the voice of God. When I started to lead, Come on. he said, uh -huh. go back in and tell him that you bought them at North Council for 41 cent, he can sell them to you here for 41 cent. And he said, well, I can't do it without a receipt. And so it just took getting past that, getting them. Amen? But God did all that. Amen? Am I bragging? No, I'm bragging on God. Amen? Because all I did was listen. Amen? And obey the voice of God. Do you realize today all you got to do is listen? And obey the voice of God, and God will take care of you. He'll make a way when there is no way. Amen. I promise you, He'll not let you down. I let Sandra down a lot of times, and she lets me down a lot of times, and we don't mean to do that, but there are times that we just don't see eye together. But God always is always there and always available to meet your need. Amen? Yes, he is. I promise you he is. Amen? He's there to take care of you. Is there anything beyond God? No. There's nothing that God can't do. Come on, brother. Amen? The Bible says for even us, we can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. Amen? So I'm telling you today, I'm not talking something out there in the midst of nowhere. I'm telling you about an awesome, almighty God that's on your side. Amen? And all He wants you to do is to do it His way. Amen? Yep. Learn to be patient. Amen? And wait on the Lord and let God take care of you. Let God lead God and direct you. Let Him show you what to do about things. I was praying about something here the other day and I said God I said what do you want me to do God about this situation God I said and, and a scripture come to my mind he said okay he says the, the scripture pops up in my mind and well if you got a hundred sheep and one leaves a foal he says what does a, what do you do you leave the 99 to go after that one right that's what Jesus would do and I said well God is that what you want me to do you know what happened today then they're pumping the gas, man. Pumping the gas. This black lady comes walking up. I look at her and she says, well, is this a horse trailer? And I said, well, no, it's not. She said, I didn't think it was. And it was just a little line pit so she could have me a little brochure. And, and I picked up on it right after she said that. I, I looked and I seen that little pamphlet in her hand. I thought, oh, I, know, I know exactly who she is, you know. Jehovah Witness. <laughs> at the gas pump. Say, man, in hospital. You know what I did? I just stood there and I, I, I said, okay, God, what's going on? You know? And she said, well, I didn't think that was a horse trailer. She said, they ain't got no windows in it. I said, well, 
She said, what do you got in that thing? I said, I got a load of tools and I do carpentry work. I said, you need some carpentry work, don't you? She said, no, but I'd like to give you this little pamphlet. And she handed me the pamphlet. It was folded over so you couldn't read what was on the outside of it. And she already had it opened up to the thing and it talking about temper. I thought, boy, God, you hit me right on the spot, you know. Got to control my temper, you know. You know what it read? It said when a hundred sheep and one leaves, what do you do? Do you leave the 99 to go after the one? said exactly what God had talked to me about. You know what I did? I picked up the phone and made a phone call. Didn't take me long. I, I thought about it for a few minutes as I drove out of there. God, is this you or is this the devil? This come from Jehovah Witnesses. It's what I thought. It come from Jehovah Witnesses. Is this you shaking me? Or, or is, this, is this the devil trying to get me to reach out to somebody I need to leave alone? Right? You know what God said? It's my word. And that's all I had to hear. I picked up my phone and I made a phone call. And I said, hey, look, I just want you to know We've been missing you at church. And I don't know why you're not coming. I said, but, uh, you know, it, I, I, would, I want to encourage you to get back in church. If you do anything in your life, you need to go to church. Amen. I said, and, I, and I'm not trying to push you or anything. I just want you to know we miss you. And that's all I said. And they began to explain to me why they had been coming. And, Things that's been going on and how much they knew they needed church. And everything went real good. Yep. It was over. I got to the job. I said, hey, Elvis. I said, come here. I said, I said, just a week ago, I was praying about something. And this is the scripture that comes to me. I said, I want you to look what this Jehovah Witness lady handed me a while ago at the gas pump. <laughs> and he read that thing. He said, my goodness. I said, you believe that was God giving me that or the devil? He said, well, he said, I don't know nothing really about Jehovah Witness. I said, I said, well, and he, he said, I know they don't believe like I believe, but you know, I, I thought seriously about going to a Jehovah Witness church and see what it's like. I said, I wouldn't go in there for nothing. <laughs> he said, why not? He said, I said, well, because I know they don't believe like I believe, and the Bible tells me not to do that. I said, so, you know, I'm going to just leave well enough alone. He said, well, I really wonder what goes on in there. You don't really know what goes on in there until you go. I said, well, you go right ahead, brother. I said, but I'm not going. Man, not putting out this down by any means. If he feels late to go, maybe he got something he needs to tell them. Amen. I don't know. Maybe he needs to hear what they got to say. I don't know, but I don't. Amen. Because I know God for me. Amen. But the reason I said all that is God can work through anybody at any time. Amen? If they'll only listen to God. Amen? All right. I'm listening, Lord. Tell me what to do. I can tell you today, amen, when we get in a rush, a lot of times, work-wise, we mess up things. But when we take our time, but be patient about it and work steadily. You know what? Things turn out nice. If you don't believe me, you come up there to the church and I'll put you on the ladder and let you try to put one of them ceiling tiles in. <laughs> and you try to put it in quick. See how aggravating you get. Amen? Because some of them don't go in real easy. Amen? Sure. You have to work on it. How many know that God's working on you? Amen? Yes. Even tonight through this message. God is doing a work here. Amen. And He wants you to listen. Amen. And understand that we have to learn to be patient. Amen. We have to make ourselves at times to be quiet. We have to learn to listen and let the Lord lead us. Amen. Yeah. I'm telling you tonight, amen, some things that will help you grow in the Lord. Help you to become who He's called you to be. Amen. Because God wants perfection in our life. Amen. That's why the trials and the tribulations come in our life. Because He's wanting to work a perfect work in your life. Amen. So, woo, if you've been going through things, praise the Lord. Amen. Because God's doing a great work in you. 
Yeah. He's got something great in store for you. Amen. Amen. And it takes all these things you're going through to get you to where God right. wants you to be. Amen. And I'm trying to minister to you tonight to help you to learn to control your thoughts. Amen. Right. Learn not to let the devil have free reign with your mind because the devil will come and attack your mind and he'll cause you to go against the will of God in your mind. And next thing you know, you're not willing to be quiet. You're not willing to listen. You're not willing to do anything. Matter of fact, you take on a rebellious spirit and you find yourself simply going against the will of God in your life. Yeah, that's, that's the way it happens. See, we do have an adversary and he runs to and fro throughout the earth seeking whom he may devour, right? Amen. But I can tell you, amen, God's made us an overcomer of the enemy, amen. He's given us power to tread over serpents, scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy. And by no means any weapon shall form that shall hurt us or harm us, amen. Amen. Why? Because that's God's heritage over his children, amen. It's yours, amen. Yes, You're an amen. overcomer, amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible does the Bible say that we've been made overcomers by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Right. Amen. That's right. Sometimes it takes a testimony to keep people in line. Amen. To help people not stray away. Amen. A good shepherd always watches over the sheep. Yes, you know, here a few weeks back, I tried to minister a little bit about rest, amen, and how the sheep don't know that they've got to eat in order to rest. Do you understand that spiritually? Tonight, if you don't eat God's Word, there's no peace in your life, amen? And when there's no peace, there's no rest. You find yourself up all night. You know, if your body hurts, it's hard to rest, right, Lisa? That's right. Lisa said, I was up all night, couldn't rest or not. Why? Yes. Because she was hurt. Amen? But you know what? The Bible says, He that keepeth his mind upon me shall walk in perfect peace. Amen? Peace comes in different forms, and rest does too. Amen? When we get in harmony with God's Word, amen, and begin to live according to that which the Word of God says, amen. How many know that the Bible says you have, you are healed by the stripes upon Jesus' back, right? Amen. You know, we can claim that healing for our bodies knowing that God's already said that we've been healed, amen. And next thing you know, amen, the sickness and, and the, the pain and the suffering and things begin to bend. Way, amen. Because God's peace will take over in our life. Yeah. Amen. How many know that you could be hurt and wounded and God can just reach down and stop the bleeding? Yes. Amen. Yes. amen. He can. Yes. God can touch our minds and give us peace in the midst of a storm. Amen. Yes. He's done it in my life. I remember one time when I walked out of the truck. Amen. And, and I'm telling you, I flipped out. Amen. I reached under that seat and that money bag was done, done, been, somebody done got a hold of it and emptied it. Amen. It was empty. It had $6,500 in it until they got a hold of it. Amen. Amen, bro. I flipped out. Huh. I was weak and I was like, oh my gosh, what in the world? I was ready to accuse anybody and everybody. Why? Because my flesh was raging. Amen. You know what Sister Sandra said, Derek? You need to sit down and pray. I said, I don't want to pray. I just want to get them. Yeah. Didn't even know who got it, but I thought I did. So I could think of them my mind. I was blaming anybody and everybody that my mind was telling me they did it. You know what? Didn't change until I sat down, got quiet, and began to pray. And as soon as I got through praying, I sat there and I thought, man, it's my fault they got it. I should have left it in the truck. So I told me to get it out last night and I forgot to. Do you hear me? Come on. It didn't change until I prayed, Brother George. But as soon as I prayed, God took over. 
I'm telling you, God will take over when we learn to be patient and let God have the reins. Amen? This boy used to work with me, and a lot of you know what I'm talking about. We loved him. He was a very meek and quiet young man, well respectable. I loved him to death. Treated him like he was my own son. Come on, man. Wrecked and killed himself in my truck. <laughs> Coming from work one day, sent him home to go get some column material. And he never made it back in my truck. That was very hurtful for me. Hard for me to deal with on the inside. Well, I painted it up good on the outside, but I hurt deep on the inside. And I can tell you the devil knew it. Amen. Amen because every time something would go wrong, he would bring it back up to me. Amen. Yep. I'm telling you, amen, it didn't matter. Amen. It didn't matter how hard I tried to let that go. The devil would always remind me of what happened. And I said, Lord, I ask you to take this pain out of my heart. Help me not feel this way no more. And God told me it wasn't your fault. He, he drove his truck that day to work for the first time. He said if he hadn't wrecked in your truck, he was going to wreck anyways. Come on. You know what? After I heard God say that, I had peace over it, Ken. But until I heard God tell me that, it troubled me, it bothered me, and it was hard to deal with because I was trying to cope with it within myself. <coughs> Let me tell you, the only way that you can overcome the struggles and the trials and the tribulation of this life is to give it to God. Yeah. I'm telling you to pray about it. Let God take care of it. Wait on the Lord. Amen. The Bible says those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagle. Yes. They shall run and not grow weary. Yes. They shall walk and shall not faint. Amen. I'm telling you today, amen, it takes God. Amen. To speak things into our mind and into our heart. Amen. And when God's Word begins to reveal the truth to you, amen, you need to acknowledge what God is saying to you, amen. You need to be able to be in a place and a stage and a frame of your mind that God can talk to you and you'll hear Him and listen to Him, amen. I want you to know today, amen, that God wants you to know that when we learn to wait on God, Everything always works out for our good. Amen? Yes. The Bible says that in Romans 8 and 28. It says, All things work for good to them who love the Lord and are called according to His purpose. Amen? I'm telling you tonight, amen, if you don't have peace tonight, you can get it by kneeling down at the feet of Jesus and just giving it to God and asking God to take over in your life. Amen? Being patient and learning to wait on God. Not making things happen, but letting God have the reins. Amen? That young man always listened to a song. His most favorite song was Jesus Take the Wheel. That was his favorite song. Had it on his telephone. Jesus, I remember that. Jesus take the wheel. Never knowing that he was going to die behind a vehicle. Isn't it amazing how God works? I know today that he's in heaven. Amen? Well, he had some thoughts. But I seen him get born again that year in revival. That was enough for me to know that he's at home with Master. Amen. I can tell you today, amen, God's grace and His mercy is sufficient. Amen. He'll take care of you, amen, when nobody else can. He'll make a way when there is no way. Amen. We've got to learn to just be patient 
and let God have his way in our lives. Amen. I hope that you got something tonight. Hope that you learn to listen. Learn to take on a meek and quiet spirit. And let God have his way in your life. Amen. He makes a difference. Amen. Anybody want prayer tonight before we leave?
Brother Johnny missed him tonight and these others that were out. Remember Brother and Sister Hyde? And uh, don't forget, now tomorrow night we'll be working on the church. Uh, come out and help. I mean, if you